body Or else I'd be like jelly They help me stand up straight So I can't perform ballet Yeah, I got bones in my body Working with my muscles too They let me do my ballet And how about you? Like a true Good evening, boys and girls. I hope you liked that rocking track from Bill Nye the Science Guy, Bones in My Body. And that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. We're going to start talking about the skeletal system. And the first part that we're going to discuss in this lecture are going to be the functions or the jobs of the skeletal system. So the skeletal system has five jobs, actually. The first job is storage of materials. The second job is the protection of vital organs. Third job is movement. The fourth is support. And then lastly, but not least, production of blood cells. So we're going to move on to the next page here, and we're going to discuss how the skeletal system actually accomplishes these things. Now here we have a concept map based on all the functions that the skeletal system has. So as you can see, we have support, produce blood cells, protection, storage, and movement. So let's start off with support. Our skeletal system gives us support in our body and this allows us to stay upright and also gives the body its shape. It's very much like the skeleton of a house. So if you've ever walked by or seen a house being built or a skyscraper being built in the city, you'll notice that the frame of the house, that's what this is called, is composed of joists, which run along the floors here, and studs, which is the lumber that outlines the outside of the house. So just like our skeleton, the skeleton of this home here will be able to support all the sheetrock and the roofing and the flooring inside of the house. This way the house doesn't collapse on itself. So very much like our own body, our skeleton give us that framework so we're not a big fleshy blob that's just sitting on the floor. The second function I want to discuss is the production of blood cells. Now our bones produce three types of blood cells. We have the production of red blood cells, which as we've talked about before, brings oxygen to the body and carbon dioxide away from the body. And we have white blood cells, which fight off bacteria and other pathogens that get inside the body to keep us healthy. And lastly, we have platelets here. Platelets are important because they help your blood clot. So this way, when you get an injury and a cut in your skin, the blood doesn't keep pouring out. And here we have a picture of the different types of cells that are produced by our bones. The red cells are obviously the red blood cells. And then we have the white blood cell to the left there. Those are the cells that are made by our bone. We're actually missing the platelets in this diagram. So next, the third function of our skeletal system is protection. And this is a very important function because it protects our vital organs from damage, such as our brain, our heart, and our lungs. So if we go to our favorite website on Earth, so here's our good friend Steve the Skeleton. We saw him on our last vodcast on the organization of the human body, and he'll be helping us out a lot during this next chapter on the human body systems. So here we have our skeletal system presented, and if I were to click on the cardiovascular system, major organ in the cardiovascular system that's really important to us is the heart. And as you can see, the heart is located in the middle of the rib cage behind the sternum bone, which is that flat bone that runs down the middle of our chest. And if I were to add the respiratory system into this diagram, you can see that the lungs fill up the rib cage as well. The rib cage is an extremely important feature because it acts as a shield where the skeletal system provides a really important function of these protections because if we didn't have our vital organs such as the heart and the lungs encased in bone, anytime we got hit or bumped, we can do damage to our organs, which could be really bad. 
The fourth function that we'll discuss that the skeletal system provides the human body is movement. Our bones can't necessarily move on their own. However, they provide a place for muscles to attach. So if we take a look at this image of our knee joints, here we have a single knee joint. You can see that the bones are attached to muscles. The muscles are the red materials at the top of the screen. That's actually your quadricep or the bottom of your quad. And at the ends of the quadriceps, you have white fibrous tissue that connects to the bones called tendons. So the muscles, when they contract or relax, what they'll do is they'll bend our bones or extend our bones. So this allows us the movement that we need to carry out everyday activities such as writing down your homework or eating a bowl of cereal or typing on your keyboard to your friends on Facebook. That's how the skeletal system provides us with movement. And lastly, but not least, our skeletal system provides us with storage. Your bones need certain materials such as calcium and phosphorus. The bone can calcify or harden as it matures. But in addition to that, our bones also store fat, which acts as a backup energy reserve for our body. These are the five functions of the skeletal system. That concludes tonight's lesson, and have a wonderful night.